Hola from Lola. It's a beautiful morning. Oh, what a day. See that? Sun is actually behind me because of what time it is and the way the sun goes around in a circle. Anyways, um, good morning. Today is today is a big day. Oh, one second. So today's run was called the Big Day Race, and it was basically just trying to get you warmed up and just getting your mindset right to what is about to come and what is happening. So basically, it could be for anything. It doesn't only have to be for running. Oh, your big day could be, you know, doing a presentation, going, going on a trip, doing whatever. Today, my big day is going to Niasia, and we're gonna go learn some braids and how to add on some hair onto some braids, and we're gonna start getting my hair life back together since our spa is almost up and running. Uh, we just need my shampoo bowl up, and then figure out hoses, and then how to drain, but for that section of it, it's basically almost done. It's so hot, I had to wear my jacket today, because it was really cold this morning when I walked out the door. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to go out there and be able to warm up. Unless I wore my gloves. But my gloves only warm up my hands and my wrist. And I don't know if that was enough. So, um, a big day. A big day. You got to think about what's to come. Be aware of what's happening. Be aware of what's going on. Um, around you, to you, for you. Be aware of your emotions because your emotions might be a feeling. Well, your emotions are your feelings. So it's not who you are. So if you're scared, you're worried, you're, you're afraid, are you really or are you nervous? Are you just like ready? Are you excited? Like what is your feelings really telling you what you're feeling and not who you are so don't get them confused because they they aren't the same they aren't the same this is with anything anything in life it's not just just running or just something that you're going to be doing it could be a conversation you're having with somebody are you are you actually upset or are you embarrassed of what's happening are you you know like figure out the core reasoning for what is happening to you and that is the way of life the way your life should be because then that makes it easier for you to understand yourself as a human and what's going on so you can be and understood by others because you can explain what is happening within yourself that's what i feel like the run did to me Red did for me. That's how I feel. Yeah. Um, it's also, it keeps mentioning that running is like a school. Running is like a school because you are your teacher, you are the student, you, all your learning is how to be. And you need to figure out ways that you can teach yourself figure out ways that you can understand it because no one's going to go to that school if no one gets it. So find what subject, what what you can relate to with whatever situation is going on. It doesn't only have to be about running, but with any situation that's going on, find what inspires you to do it and then figure out how to get that inspiration all the time and then you'll be great that's that's the point like just to be better is life just being better being a better person being a better you being a better ver version of yourself is what it is to live because if you're the same every day you're never changing nothing's ever going to be different nothing's ever going to come for you or towards you if you're just a blob <laughs> you gotta get out of the blob head 
so that you can make sure you can feel how important you are and it's great i love it i love the running and these guides always help me get me to this point um we did the run with andy puddington he's a co-founder of headspace and i think it was really smart of uh of them to get someone with headspace or something about mental health and um just helping you out through the journey because it's more than just running it's it's more than just putting on your shoes and you know listening to music and zoning out it's all about like understanding what's happening to you as a person as you're doing it and carrying on and if you can't do it figure out why you can't and then what's stopping you and then that's just your blockage and again a blockage a barrier a barrier is another thing that Andy taught us in the past and what do we need to do to be able to get over that barrier of I can't to the I will or I should I can because that's at the end of the day what matters most being able to just do <sighs> and doing it correctly without hurting yourself and doing it without having any issues of what's going on because you just need to be in the moment of what's happening with whatever you're doing so i think that's all i got for today's run i'm untying my shoes already i'm outside though <laughs> i'm a little far from the house but that's okay because i I want loose shoes i want to take them up already so on that note i'm gonna go and have a good day with miss Niasia at styles by bianca um and we're going to be having some fun with some hair and i can't wait i'm so excited it's gonna be lots of fun and so worth it i hope you guys have a good day and i will see you on the next one okay